On this very day five years ago, I made my first theory video which was about Lavender Town, and that was my first big break on YouTube. But in the past year or so, I stopped making theory videos altogether. But today, that's going to change. In the past month or so, there have been a lot of reports, pictures, and videos on the internet of evil clowns coming out of the woods and terrorizing communities all across the world. But many are wondering who these people are and what exactly do they want. In August of 2016 in South Carolina, some strange things start going on in wooded areas. It appears that there are now clowns hiding out in the forest and occasionally find their way into the community. Several children have told adults that these individuals wanted the kids to follow them into the woods, and were even offering them presents to do so. These clowns have also been seen coming out at night and waving to people, as they stand under the glow of the streetlights. Others have heard noises coming outside their front doors that are believed to be coming from them. By morning though, they have gone back to where they came. Police were left scratching their heads as to who these people were, and many citizens in the community are now scared to leave their house at night. They don't want to fall prey to these strange men or women that people keep on seeing, since they don't know what they want or what they're capable of. This actually isn't the first outbreak of clowns the world has seen. Back in 2014, France was suffering from a similar problem, but without the amount of guns the United States has, the clowns were often much more fearless. One of the worst cases was when a man walking down the street was ambushed by a clown. The masked man had an iron bar and appeared to be crazed. He proceeded to strike the pedestrian with the weapon and the victim fell to the pavement. Lash after lash, the clown continued to beat the man on his neck and back 30 times before fleeing the scene. While this was one of the worst French attacks, that year there were over a hundred clown-related incidents. They often carried weapons, chased and attacked men, women, and even children, plus were often never caught for their crimes. It became so bad that visual anti-groups started to pop up to track down the clowns, because they felt the police were unable to keep them safe from these criminals. Currently, it seems like all clowns are terrifying, with a large portion of the public afraid of them. This wasn't always the case, though. The history of the clown actually goes back further than many may realize. They haven't always been the face-painted children's party-attending, nightmare-fueling men and women that we now know them as in the 21st century. The term was actually coined in the 1500s, associated with the earlier name, Rustic Fools. The clown was similar to a jester. The modern-day circus clown was really developed in the 19th century. They started adding clowns in shows to amuse the spectators between other performances. Soon after, many of the clown's staples were added, like the red nose, white face paint, and colorful wardrobe. They were designed for the sole intent to entertain. One of the most famous examples of one of these clowns is Ronald McDonald, who started peddling burgers to kids in the 60s. And looking back, the original design was pretty unnerving. Oh, we've already met. I know we're going to be friends too, because I like to do everything boys and girls like to do. Especially when it comes to eating those delicious McDonald's hamburgers. A magic tray here keeps me well supplied. McDonald's hamburgers, french fries, and milkshakes. Watch for me on TV, we'll have lots of fun! Since then, McDonald's has really tried to redesign their mascot so it won't be seen as creepy to the people it's supposed to advertise to. Overall though, clowns in general have become known as sinister creatures, in the same camp as monsters. So what exactly makes the clown so scary that it's one of the most common phobias in the world? Well, as one notable person known for having this fear puts it, there's something about the painted face, the fake smile. There's always seemed to be darkness lurking under the surface, a potential for real evil. There's just something so unsettling about the idea that behind a character made to entertain children, there may be something much more dark and sinister. Behind the bright face paint could hide one of the most evil people you've ever met. Wickedness hiding under the guise of innocence. Having this viewpoint isn't completely unjustified either. Just look at one of the most infamous serial killers in American history, John Wayne Gacy. On the surface, he seemed like an upstanding member of the community who was known to dress up as a clown for local events, such as parades and birthday parties. People didn't know what he was doing at night though. John didn't start off by killing people. As a quiet young man, he was regularly beaten by his father and sexually abused by a family friend. At the age of 18, he found work at a mortuary, and admitted that on one occasion he had gone into a coffin with a dead teenage boy. Things only became more twisted from here. A few years later, he began to sexually abuse teenagers he had contact with. Even after being put in prison for one of these cases, he didn't stop, and was even able to prevent new associates from finding out about his past crimes. This is when he also started playing Pogo the Clown. 
While he was entertaining people's children, they had no idea what his other more sinister hobby was. John discovered that taking the lives of others was the ultimate thrill. Throughout the 1970s, he murdered at least 33 people, before finally being caught and sentenced to the death penalty. So many people in his life saw his clown character, but little did they know who was really in that costume. As the summer was wrapping up, more clowns started popping up in the United States, many becoming more and more dangerous. In Ohio, an entire school district had to be closed down after an incident occurred in the area. It was reported that Kim Youngblood was smoking a cigarette on her front porch when a clown appeared and wrapped his hands around her neck and proceeded to make threats towards the local school. When he ran off, she proceeded to call the police and tell them everything. In response, the school district's official statement read, Overnight, a woman in Reading was attacked by a male dressed as a clown and the perpetrator has not been apprehended. During the attack, the victim reported a threat was made against our students. We take all threats to the safety of our students seriously. We were especially concerned with the number of students who walked to school in the early morning hours and made the decision to close school. The district is working closely with Reading Police on this matter. We will make a decision about homecoming activities later in the day as we know more. These criminals were beginning to make all clowns look bad. So to help fight against the negative views of clowns, many professionals in the industry have called out the actions of these people, and don't want these reports to hurt the careers of others who simply want to entertain. In the past, there have also been programs to show people how professional clowns put on their costume and makeup, to display that they're harmless and just people playing a character for your amusement. Regardless of how many good clowns there are in the world, that has not deterred people from still fearing them, because new sightings keep on popping up at a rapid pace. The Northwest was soon going to be the next victim of these evil clowns, when they popped up in the state of Oregon. This time though, their target would be young elementary school children who had no way of defending themselves as they were chased down by this masked individual. After the frightened children had gone home, they immediately told their parents what happened, who reported the incident to local authorities. But it has yet to be revealed who these people were, since like many other clowns, they seem to be able to disappear after an attack. While I can go into detail about dozens of reports I found online of these clowns, many seem to have similarities between them. The biggest is that they like to pop out from wooded areas. This is most likely the case because they can make an easy getaway into the wilderness if they end up getting chased by police. Others have said that their children have seen clowns peeking into their windows in the middle of the night coming onto their front porch and making loud noises and trying to get teenage girls to come into their van. There's no way of knowing what they'll do next. Many are asking why all these real-life evil clowns are coming out of the woodwork now. Well, one possible theory that many have been sharing is that it all could be a gigantic viral marketing effort to promote the new movie It that will be coming out next year. For those that don't know, it is a Stephen King novel, but is more famous for the 1990 TV miniseries based off of the source material. It's the story of an evil clown played by Tim Curry that appears in a town in Maine every 30 years. Living in the sewers, this clown torments and murders children before going back into hiding for three decades of rest. It becomes the job of a group of outcasts to kill him once and for all. Because of the plot being based around an evil clown, it's understandable that some would believe the marketing team for the film would be responsible, but there are a few problems with that idea. For one, these clown sightings have been all over North America. The idea that a movie studio could set up all this would be unlikely, unless they did the first one and it snowballed from there. Secondly, Stephen King himself has even tweeted people to stop the hysteria. Could it be viral marketing? Sure, but at least we have to admit that many of these people are copycats and have nothing to do with the original. A lot of popular news sources have picked up this story and talked about it, so there's no doubt that some people saw it there and decided that they were going to dress up like an evil clown themselves. The second theory I've also heard a few people mention was that there's possibly a secret evil clown message board somewhere online that's invite only. In it, they discuss their tactics for scaring people and stories from their time in the costume. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any evidence to back this up, so it's just a hypothesis. While a few of the clowns have been caught, they mostly seem to be working alone. And it's difficult for police to spend too much time on this issue since they have other things to deal with. In many of these cases, the clowns aren't technically breaking any laws either by lurking around in a costume. So in most areas, they can't just lock them up for being creepy. So are most of these clowns being seen just guys trying to amuse themselves by scaring others? That's very likely. 
but just keep in mind that there are many extremely unstable people living in the United States, and it's very possible that many of these clowns are in this category. As I'm wrapping up this video, a 16 year old was just stabbed to death by one of these clowns, so things are getting much worse. There have been sightings in California, Colorado, Connecticut, Florida, New Jersey, New York, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Washington, and many more. Soon, every state will probably have clowns. It's yet to be seen how far this evil clown epidemic will go. For the most part, it's just been people hiding in the woods, but you never know if one of these days a child will actually go missing or be killed close to where one of these clowns have been seen. So we should all be careful. Well, there you have my thoughts on all these evil clown sightings being seen across the world at this point. Well, most of these people are probably innocent and just playing a joke, you never know who's going to be hiding behind one of those costumes. So all that I could ask of you is to try to stay safe.